Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan and this is a video on how to use the Liberty Photo app for iOS. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the Liberty Photo app on our iPhone. Then we're going to go ahead and sign in. Notice that for this video, the password that I put in will not be shown. Um, that's just because it's a security feature of iOS. Go ahead and tap remember me on this. And then I'm going to hit continue. So what we're going to notice is there's a couple of ways to input an item so that I can add images to it. Um, the first way is to actually tap on the account number field. And then we can type in or tap in our account dash item number that's on our tag. So in this case, I'll just put in 1-1. And then we'll, it'll pull up an item here. So I have a black suit. I can go ahead and just tap the item. And as you can see, we already have some images in here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take new pictures. I can leave these on here. Uh, if I tap the camera icon at the top left, uh, this is going to bring up our access here. So we're going to go ahead and let it have access to our camera. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of something just so I can showcase it. So we'll just take a picture of this keyboard. And then I'm going to tap the done button at the bottom right. I can also take more pictures. So I can take a picture of my screen here on my laptop. Well, that was a little blurry. Let me retry that. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and tap done again. And so on and so forth. We can take more pictures if we want. Um, we also have the ability to take square or photo pictures. Um, just as a note, Shopify does like square pictures more. And then we have the capability here on the left of increasing the exposure. Um, so higher is going to make your picture a little bit brighter, whereas lower will make your picture uh, darker. Bottom left-hand corner, we have the ability to turn on the flash. So we can uh, hit this, and it'll, it'll actually turn on our flash on the camera when we take the picture. That way we have a nice bright picture if we need it. Very good for dark locations. And then over here we can actually swap to the front camera if we need to. So I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with the pictures that I took. I'm going to tap done. All right. So now um, they're ready to upload. I can go ahead and tap the finish button. And that's going to go ahead and push the images up for me when I click finish. Um, another feature just to show you is you can go to the gallery area here. And gallery is going to allow us to access the library that is on our phone. So if I want to allow access to all photos, I can tap this. And now I have all, a whole bunch of images that I can select. So I can, I can select any of these images. So as an example, I'll select the world over here. And then I'm going to hit select. And now I've just added that image to my queue. So another option I can use, which is really cool with this app, is that I can import from other sources. So that can be Google Drive, that can be iCloud Drive. So you have other, other ways to pull the images in. So I'm going to give you an example. So I'll do import here, and immediately it connected to my iCloud Drive. So if I have images in here, I can pull them. If I go back to browse, I have other, other options that I can pull from. If I click on more locations, now I, ha I can have access to Google Drive and Dropbox. So you have a lot of a lot of power in this as to where you want to pull the images from. So I'm going to go ahead and tap Done. And I'll hit Cancel. So now that I'm finished, I'm going to go ahead and tap my Finish button here. And you it'll give you the option to mark these as web items. So they'll go straight to Shopify or, you know, if you have that feature enabled uh, in Listing Manager or uh, if it's eBay, it's going to go ahead and create the listings in the listing manager for you to actually edit before they go up. So you do have a lot of a lot of control depending on what you have set in your listing manager. So I went ahead and reset all my images because I didn't want to add those images to the item. Um, I just wanted to showcase editing. So if I tap on any image in the editor here, it'll give me an option or it'll give me additional options to crop the image. I can rotate if I want. I can change the exposure, brightness, or contrast. So there, I made that picture a little brighter or darker. Um, brightness is kind of like a little bit more different of a bright, uh, a different way to set the brightness of the object. And then the contrast, of course, is the same thing you'd see on it, like a TV to make it darker or lighter.
So you have a lot of control over that. I'll go ahead and hit save. Other options that we have available is we can click the three dots to the top right and you have uh, your settings area. So here we can control whether or not you want to automatically default to square or no cropping settings. Um, compression level controls the size of your images. So if you if you want to save space or you don't want to have high resolution images on Shopify, you can set this to a lower level. And then finally, the save new images to camera roll. If you select yes on this option, any images that you take or any pictures that you take with the camera in the app will actually get saved to your camera roll. So you can review them later. Maybe you want to have access to those after you initially take your picture. I'm going to hit the back button again. Other options that we have available to us are watermarks. So you can go to watermark settings. This will allow you to watermark your images. So you can put your store name at the bottom right or the, the top right. Um, and this is so that nobody can pull your images and use them. It, it just shows that these were images that were created by your store. It makes it a little bit more difficult for other entities to use your images. And plus it's just a nice effect all around. And over at the top here is where you actually set what that text is gonna gonna say there. So you just type it in and it'll it'll let you watermark that text. I'm gonna go ahead and click save on that. And then I'll hit finish here. I'm gonna hit no. Alright, so the next thing we have, uh, or at least another way to add images to our app here is we can actually scan the barcode of a tag. So if we instead of typing in the account dash item number, if you click the barcode option up here and then you actually stick a tag in front of the camera it will scan the tag and it will actually pull that item up in the photo app so you can easily work on items that are in front of you naturally the other option is a little bit easier if you don't have the item in front of you you can still work with it by just putting in the account dash item number going back to the three dots at the top right if we click on server info It'll allow us to basically see what our server information is. We can change this if we need to connect to another server because our server actually changed or you migrated your server to another computer. You can change the information here and that'll allow you to reconnect. You just have to remember when you are given the option to reconnect uh, in the Liberty Mobile Admin app, you should not have to invalidate your key. And finally, if you want to sign out and log in to someone else, uh, you click the three dots at the top right and then we just tap sign out and that's going to take you right out of the application it'll ask you are you sure you want to log out you tap yes and you're back into the login screen this was a video on how to use the liberty photo app for ios